All right, let's go after this leak that started developing after 30, 40 plus minutes of runtime, as you can see right there. So I will put that right. Let's see if we could get that holding so we can get it right there. No, nope, right there. I'm trying to get it balanced so you guys can see it and I can free my hands. There we go, I got it there. So now we take the leak detector. We go right down to the leak. As I did this before when it was just filled with refrigerant and I'm right at the leak. Nothing, not a zero zilch. And you know how sensitive these leak detectors are. And um, there's another one on the bottom, but I'm not gonna climb. I already took videos of that and I'm not gonna climb back on there and, and show you. Uh, no use in that, but we know we have a leak there. This little tiny, nothing shows up here, but the little oil film from before. And when you put the UV light there, there's nothing there. There's nothing on, uh, on the back side of the condenser, which remember in another video, I told you this gap should not be this wide because it's not the original radiator. And this aftermarket one has extra spacing that tilts the radiator back more, leaving this huge gap that should not be there. But aftermarket, the good stuff, right? That's what everybody says. Um, but try to, I, I don't think you could get a copper tube and brass tank radiator brand new oem anymore for this vehicle unless it was old stock and if you tried to have one custom manufactured for you out of brass and copper it'd probably be a four to six hundred dollar radiator to uh make a oem equivalent or better all right guys i'll see you later